in this video we'll be covering the module wise important questions or topics to cover for uh, exam that is for software engineering and project management subject of subject code 21 cs 61 so here uh, i have the model question papers released by vto and along with that i have also um, compared my internal question papers and uh, have written down the important questions to cover so starting from the first module uh, define software, software engineering, IEEE definition and importance of software engineering, software and software engineering. Uh, this could be asked for 10 marks, uh, but then it will have combination of uh, so like two, 1A, 1B will be there. Then we have uh, software application domains, that is we have seven domains uh, or the seven challenges followed by the characteristics of uh, software, that is three characteristics. Okay. So then we have nature of web apps and seven uh, principles of software. So this is a must question to cover okay then we have uh, explain prescriptive waterfall v model incremental process evolutionary process spiral with diagram so this is again important question and then we have a uh, short note on concurrent models and specialized process models this is again an important question so the ones which have marked are uh, must questions to study from this particular model module okay next moving on to module 2 uh, we have uh, how requirement engineering so seven tasks related to requirement engineering this is a must question uh, it would it could be asked for 10 marks uh, because there is a lot to write in this particular question okay then guidelines for conducting a collaborative requirement gathering meeting uh, write a short on qfd and its types so even this is important because uh, again it could be this could be divided into seven plus three okay then we have uml case diagram for home security function and uml activity diagram uh, that is uh, elicitating the requirements out of these two one would be asked so for sure this will be 10 marks question only because along with the diagram we have to uh, write about each and every step also so this is a time and page consuming both okay and then moving on to fourth short note on uh, analysis uh, of uh, rule of thumb and domain analysis so this could be asked for three marks or four marks then we have use case development and UML model that supports use case, the activity diagram. Uh, in the second chapter, if you go through it, you have the activity diagram. So this is again important. Um, all these important questions and uh, all, all the questions, all the topics for each module have been discussed and uh, videos have been uploaded. Just uh, go through the playlist of SCPM, you'll find the videos. So uh, if you watch those videos, I have tried to explain all the uh, concepts in a simpler way in simpler terms so and along with that even my handwritten notes uh, would be available so just go i would suggest you to go through all the videos uh, module wise videos okay then coming to six crc modeling and data modeling are pretty important ones we have a class modeling other modeling also but then among those crc uh, class modeling and uh, data modeling are pretty important okay this was about second module Moving on to third module, I would say that in SCPM subject, first module and third module are easiest ones because there are standard set of questions here and uh, we can easily score marks here. First one is define agile, agile principles and uh, what is agility and 12 agile principles. Along with this, even the manifesto could be asked, agile manifesto also. Uh, there are four, uh, four agile manifestos. So four agile manifestos are there, even that could be asked. So this is a sure shot question. Okay, then we have explain XP. XP it um, XP in itself is a 10 mark question. Or they can ask Scrum and Crystal with diagram. So this is again 5 5 marks. Then we have ASD model and FTD model. This is again pretty important. Then explain communication and modeling principles. Here again we have uh, four types of principles like different topics. Out of that communication and modeling are the important ones. Then uh, define briefly the design uh, modeling principles that guide the respective framework activity. Uh, this is Again, uh, an important uh, topic. Moving on to the fourth module. Uh, what is project management? Um, categorizing projects and activities covered by software project management. This is a short, short question. Uh, I have clubbed three questions here because um, either these two could be asked or these two could be asked or these two could be asked for 10 marks. Then we have a project management life cycle. This is a 10 mark question. So this is again pretty important. So... Um, yeah, after that we have the sequence of uh, software development uh, activities that is we have the requirements, design, code, test, uh, installation support, that big diagram. So this is again, again a 10 mark question. Out of these two, one would be surely asked. So I would suggest you to um, cover, study these topics thoroughly, okay. Coming to the third question, that is we have uh, project success and project failure in uh, 
software uh, project management and then we have smart objectives that is a specific me measurable achievable relevant time all those things and then management controls with uh, project uh, control cycle this is again uh, important uh, topic so i would say that uh, these three questions if you study you know it will cover the entire fourth module only fourth module moving on to the fifth module uh, this is again um, easier one because standard questions we have uh, uh, iso 9126 six software characteristics um, uh, if you remember it is perfume p e r f u m so p e r f u m that is p for reportability efficiency reliability and uh, all of that this is important one then explain the place of software quality define software quality this is again important then out of these two one would be asked that would be for 10 marks okay then we have techniques to enhance software quality there are six to seven techniques to enhance yes and then uh, this may not be asked but then um, yeah you can study that as well and then process capacity models this is again important one so i would say that uh, scpm subject is uh, moderately easy and if you cover these questions now you'll be thorough for the exam uh, module wise um, explanation of all these topics would be uh, available the videos would be up, uh, uploaded so i would suggest you to go through the playlist if you have any doubts any help you want just comment down and subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel thank you